words of Albert Einstein, once you stop learning, you start dying. One of the most important means of learning and skill development in professional life is training. I'm Angela Agbegi and you're watching NAPTIP on the move. Training ensures better and increased productivity, better communication, positive work attitude, risk acceptance, personal growth and skill grooming. Let's take a look at the operations of the Training and Manpower Development Department of NAPTIP. Keep watching. Training and development is vital in every organization. It enables employees acquire new skills, sharpen existing ones, perform better, increase productivity and ultimately become better leaders. The role of training and manpower development of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking Persons, uh, the department actually, you know, is uh, mandated with the responsibility of uh, designing and ensuring uh, the training, capacity building of uh, officers of the agency to produce a complete and composite officer that has a full grasp of the law. Uh, because NAPTIP is enforcing two legislations, that is the uh, Trafficking in Persons uh, Prohibition Act and the Violence Against Persons Act. So training department does well in designing, have, developing a training policy, not just that, go further to uh, understand training needs. Uh, we've conducted the training needs and those training needs is to help us make sure that uh, what we design by way of training is such that every officer has a full grasp of a, of a discipline, of a content and character of what uh, is required of a public servant, not just a public servant in Nigeria, a law enforcement officer, a human rights officer, a protection officer, a social welfare officer, because that's in totality what uh, the demands that are made of uh, a NAMPIF officer. The cadres there, there are different cadres in the agency, all of the totality of this is the responsibility of a training and manpower development so to handle. The Training and Manpower Development Department designs and organizes diverse training for the agency. There are different types of training, aside from the specialized training, which has to focus us on uh, issues of uh, prosecution, you know, prevention, which is public enlightenment, then uh, counseling and rehabilitation, which is protection, then uh, operations, which involves uh, investigation and monitoring. Uh, the other, then even uh, under counseling, we also do a lot of social work uh, training. So these are the things. Aside from normal mentoring and coaching, you know that you do generally, which uh, you know you help your officers to build their capacities. So uh, the, these are the professional areas that you know that helps not just to, uh, for the officers because of the nature of the work they do, but also helps them. You know, to to uh, uh, complement the efforts of uh, those different departments. You know, to uh, you know, aggregately, you know, pursue the vision and mandate of the agency. The Director General, uh, Dr. Fatima Waziri, was talking about, you know, maybe rejigging their capacity building efforts to see how officers will tag, begin to target officers to pursue, you know, those. Uh, 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 those uh, courses or capacity building or self-development, career development uh, pursuits that seeks to, uh, that connects with the, the, our mandate. And so to help them uh, build their capacity in that regard, we have a training curriculum, we have the training guide, and then we have a training manual, <laughs> NAPTIP training manual section for trafficking in persons, 
we have for protection and assistance. So these are materials you know, that we have. This for prosecution training manual, then this is also for uh, prevention and uh, public relations. And we have all of this. So these documents are such that they target several those cadres that I spoke about, those departments that I spoke about, and all, you know, dovetail into uh, making sure that NAPT officers are better, that the, 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 the training uh, capacity building effort is sustained and is, is deepened. Training and manpower development is a continuous exercise in NAPTIP. Training is, is, consist, is, uh, is uh, constant. You know, aside from the ones that the agency does, we get training from uh, IOM. We get training from you know this thing. We get training from uh, from uh, FIAP, you know Atipson. Then we get training from Expertise France and uh, even uni uh, Unifem. So we get UN Women. We get training from host of other organizations. Even Nigerian, uh, we get training from Palladium. You know we get training from uh, from uh, Leap Africa. There are so many depending on what they want to do. And but essentially, NAPTIP has also developed capacity on its own to even train others. So as you're training others, you are mainstreaming, you are actually developing capacity because if you don't have content, you can't facilitate anything. So uh, these are the things that we do. We training comes aside from our own. These partners also have a program for capacity building in different areas where they notice the gap. That's why what we want to do now is to see how we can match you know, uh, our, the gaps that we've identified so that they also uh, align with those areas that they want to do training so that uh, training efforts will match vision realization. Being a law enforcement agency, NAPTA personnel are professionally trained on security matters. Security training, we are getting a lot of that from our Nigerian sister law enforcement agencies, especially the Nigerian Army. The DSS is also doing a lot in that regard. So the, 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 our very closest sister organization, Nigerian Immigration, we, we now we, we are working together in developing the a curriculum for them, you know, so that they have a hands-on in their program. The defense intelligence is helping up to pay a lot by way of uh, training in AMTIP in the area of conflict resolution, in the area of, uh, of peace building. They are, doing, they are, they are, they are training NAPTIP officers in that regard. And that's one area that is so good. Even uh, independent arbitration, they are also giving NAPTIP support in that area. Yeah, on a regular basis, annually, uh, a, a quite number, a sizable number of officers go to Martin Luther Hawaii Training Center in Kaduna, in, I think it's in Jaji, and uh, uh, where they are trained depending on whatever focus they have that year. And it's uh, almost at uh, next to nothing that they do that. So we say kudos to Nigerian Army. They're doing a lot of good for us. Building a training institute is the ultimate goal for the department. You see, what we are doing in NAPTIP is to have build an agency that is uh, focused on human rights of persons. NAPTIP officers are well trained. NAPTIP officers, because of the nature of the work that we do and what training department has been able to do, which is to help them internalize the demands of the agency, have made them understand that everything we do has to do with either somebody that has been abused, we're looking at somebody that has been exploited, we're looking at somebody that is, that is being, uh, uh, that has been violated. So these things make certain demands from you. The, the demand that is made of you is a demand of protection a demand of empathy, a demand of sympathy, a demand of, 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 of affection. So these demands are not just simple demands. These are principles upon which life itself rests. So those demands are not just, they are not just like, you know, you wake up in the morning and you want to, you want to go to work. No, you're not going to work. You're going to work to be part of, it, of, of a structure, of an agenda, of a strategy to help save an individual, to save his life, to restore his life, to rehabilitate his life, to put him back where he is and stop anybody from abusing him. So if you don't get this, then you're not an active officer. And that is what training department hopes to realize and hopes to make sure that we continue to do. We like to have our own training institutes. We have a training department. So if government funds us, you know, gives us enough funding to support this, there'll be so much. Actually, Nigeria will be a hub of developing capacity for anti-trafficking issues in the, in the, in the West African sub-region. Because uh, every other country, like Gambia, like Ghana, uh, Republic of Niger, like uh, uh, Cotonou, Republic of Benin, 
or took a cue from NAPTIP. These are people who came and understood NAPTIP. So if we have, if we, if we lead the light, if like we have led the light in that area, it's also possible and it should be expected that NAPTIP uh, at times will come when all these persons will send their personnel to NAPTIP to be trained, you know, because completely uh, uh, the, 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 the UN protocol is one. There are no so you, uh, state parties are supposed to adopt, and even if when they even when they adopt a mainstream in the, own, in the laws of one their country, the changes are just a uh, few and far. It's, it, it's little or nothing. By next year, NAPTIP will be 20 years. So 20 years is uh, such that we should begin to say, okay, this is our achievement, and our achievement should live beyond our borders to say, okay, so we want to begin to take pride that we have, we have the uh, Ghanaian government set up there, we have the Republic of Nigeria set up there. Thank God with the, the support of ICMPD, International Center for Migration Policy Development, has helped the agency. They were the ones who helped the agency develop all these materials. So there also, there's a Nigerian-Niger uh, 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 relationship now that is also focusing on trafficking issues. So these are the kind of things that we would like to see realized. But it, it, these are not things that support you will get uh, from donors. These are things that can only be done with the support of your own home government by giving the fund for training. If we mainstream, develop the capacity and build a structures for a composite, complete training academy for anti-trafficking issues, Nigeria will be a hub. The Training and Manpower Development Department is working assiduously to ensure that all NAPTE personnel are adequately trained for effective and efficient service delivery. Hi. Are you aware that any person who recruits, transports, harbors, or receives another person by means of force for the purpose of exploitation is a human trafficker? And that running a baby factory is not just illegal, but is considered human trafficking? Engaging a child below 12 years for domestic servitude and paying to an agent is also trafficking. Sexual exploitation, forced labor, organ harvesting, sale and purchase of persons are all forms of human trafficking. NAPTIP is leaving no stone unturned to ensure justice for the victims and ensure speedy prosecution of offenders, shun the culture of silence and report all cases to NAPTIP. Call NAPTIP now on 0703-0000203 or the toll-free short code 627. NAPTIP ensuring a human trafficking and violence-free nation. It's time to bring you recent activities of the agency on our event segment. Stay with NAPTIP on the move. The Catholic bishops of Sokoto and Kafanchang, my Lord Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka, and my Lord Bishop Julius Kundi recently paid a visit to the Director General of NAPTEP. Some of the issues discussed include enhanced collaboration between the agency and faith-based organizations in the fight against trafficking in persons. Partnership is one of the five strategic focuses of NAPTEP. Dr. Yamisi Suswam, the wife of the former governor of Benway State, paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of NAPTEP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi. The aim of the visit is to discuss areas of collaboration between her non-governmental organization, Save Av Foundation and NAPTIP. Welcoming Dr. Siswam, the Director General of NAPTIP expressed the agency's willingness to collaborate with the foundation. She also enlightened her on the mandate and activities of the agency. Partnership is one of the strategic priorities of NAPTIP in its bid to prevent human trafficking and violence against persons. The Director General of NAPTEP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi, paid a courtesy visit to Dr. Hope Omeza, the President of Vanguard Against Drug Abuse, a non-governmental organization that provides post-rehabilitation, integration and skill development programs, as well as psychological, medical services and management of mental health disorders for youths, women and girls. Speaking on the activities of the center, he solicited full partnership with NAPTIP in the fight against human trafficking. In her response, the Director General of NAPTIP commended the efforts of Dr. Omeza and his team and assured that the agency would collaborate with the center. 
Dr. Omeza then took the Director General and her team on a tour of the facility. Officials of the Association of Ikulu Professionals, led by the President Stephen Johanna, paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of NAPTEP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi. Speaking on the purpose of their visit, the President said that they had come to identify with the Director General and commend her for the achievements so far. The Association of Ikulu Professionals is the coming together of professionals of diverse fields of study of Ikulu origin whose membership are persons of vast knowledge that have been refined, certified by statutory professional bodies nationally and internationally for the common good of humanity and generations to come. As we know, the vision, mission and passion of the AIP is to facilitate and mentor less privileged youths with potentials capable of becoming future professionals within our community and environs. We urge you as the seventh Director General of NAFTI to serve Nigeria better professionally. Your modest achievement so far as DG NAFTI is commendable, especially on the safe return of Nigerian young men and women in foreign lands. We are here to identify you with you. We are here to show you our solidarity and unity of the Association of the Club Professionals at all times. Therefore, we say, be permen, be permen, be permen, meaning congratulations. Welcoming the team, the Director General of NAPTEP expressed appreciation for the visit. I thank you for this honor. I thank you for this privilege. I thank you for this for this um, visit and for this show of love and solidarity. Um, they all know I'm a proud daughter of Kaduna State, Ikulu by by tribe. <laughs> it's a it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. She also used the opportunity to enlighten them on the mandate structure operations of the agency and current trends in human trafficking, highlighting the peculiar trend in Kaduna State. Well, we talk about trafficking in persons, we talk about child labor, domestic servitude, we talk about forced prostitution, we talk about trafficking in persons for organ removal, which is something that is very common now. So Kaduna has a very high rate of domestic servitude issue. It also has a very high rate of child labor issue. Then we've had a few cases of um, buying and selling of children. So these are things that we need to constantly educate people, especially those who live in urban poor communities and live in rural areas. If you want to give out your children, if you want to give out your word, you need to keep in touch. You need to go see them. Even if you cannot travel to go see them, you call on the phone. And when you call, insist on speaking to them. Because there are tons of cases whereby people will go and carry people's children to say, oh, don't worry, we'll put them in school. It's, it's also incumbent on us as individuals to also, for every opportunity we get, let's sensitize people around us, let's sensitize our community, let them know what, they are red, what, the, what the red flag is. When someone tells you, oh, I have a job for you, you ask, what kind of job do you, do you have? You ask questions. Then when somebody tells you that, oh, before you come, go to a shrine and go and swear an oath, you should know that there's something wrong. Concluding the visit, the team from the Association of Ikulu Professionals made a presentation to the Director General. The victim story segment is up next. Don't go away. When I'm back with my junior sister, we are coming from church. One guy just meets me. He say he has a very um, travel and he's finding some girls. And I say, which kind of work the person we gonna do in that place? And I told me that different different work is there, like boutique 
where there's to sell clothes, food, many, many one. They can ask me, say, which one we twist in inside? And after that, I say, anyone, whether it's clothes or boutique, I will just stay there and say, okay, no problem. When I'm ready, I will come. I don't told my father, told my mother, and I left because of my father and my mother suffering. That's why me, I left there. And after that, I say, okay, I'm ready with the journey. Okay, where? I will start and that's okay. Take the transport and go there. And I read the country one week, good one week. After I read there, I read there in night, midnight. And I see ah, they are paying money that I give me to another woman. I, I not talk. When I read there in night, I'm shocking. This place they so pay play music, everything. Ah, the thing is imagine me. Ah, what is the meaning of this i think that i reason that is the boutique or is whatever what they bring me come and do here and i told the woman see i should relax i should relax i should relax the next thing the woman called me and i enter inside he give me condom a cleanness i said what is the meaning of this this thing i've never seen in my life what is the meaning of this i should calm down i should calm down i said i can't do this i can't do this they put me inside lilo house and inside grass the grass is beige. I say I can't stay this place. What is the meaning of this? He said I should relax. I say I can't do this. Okay, the next day she gave me the thing again. She, I should go and hustle. He said I should balance her 1.8 million. I say Jesus, that money is very, is very big. It's very big. It's enough. I'm not told that he said no, I will balance her with by force. I say I can't balance you this money. This money is, is enough money. Please, please, I want to go back to my parents. I want to go back. Can you allow me to go back to my parents? He said no, he will not allow me. Okay, I now go back to one place. I reason to myself, I cannot live here now. What to do? What? What to do? The work is different work. They told me that it's boutique. There is another work. No, no, the work is this work is different work. And I reason, I reason, reason, reason. And I left. Five o'clock in early morning. I enter one long bus like that. And I leave. And I see one man like that. Now call me. He say I'm very I'm very smart. Come and do this kind of work here. And I beg the man, please, can you help me? Can you help me? And I took me to one office like that. As I took me to the office, and I stay there. They're feeding me. They do me everything. I'm chopping. They're closing me. Everything there. Okay. The many three days now. Then I, I now look that is nasty people that help us to land us in Nigeria. Please. And, and naughty people, I thank you for what you've done. I appreciate you. Wherever you bring your money, more money will enter that pocket. I thank you. Please, my fellow guests, where they deceive you, please don't go. I'm begging, Naptic. I thank you for what you've done for my fellow guests. You rescue us to here. Thank you. I appreciate you. For more inquiries and support or to report cases of suspected human trafficking, violence against persons and child abuse, please call NAPTIP hotline 0703-000203 or the short code 627 or email us info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at NAPTIP Nigeria or watch our videos on YouTube. This is where we draw the curtain on this episode of NAPTIP on the Move. To like come your way again, don't forget to report all cases of trafficking in persons, violence against persons and child abuse. I'm Angela Agbegi. Thank you for watching.